War never changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons. Petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the US would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. My name is Bob Motor Blue Addict, and welcome to my Let's Play of the original Fallout game. It's been a long time since I last played Fallout 1. I made it about halfway through the game, and somehow I lost interest in it. This time, because of the Fallout series, of course, I am very excited, and I'm looking to replay all the games since the first one to try to figure out a little bit more of the lore. So, for this playthrough of the original Fallout, we are going to play as Ted Bundy. He is strong and extremely charismatic. He is a one-hander because you need to hold your victims down with one hand and then bludgeon them or stab them with the other hand. He grew up being good-natured, so he's good with all the non-combat skills. We're going to make him, of course, good with melee weapons. And he's going to be excellent at speech and barter. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? So I step out of Vault 13, into the dark, into a rat-infested cave. There's remains on the floor that look like they're another vault member. I'm not sure if it says Vault 13 on his back. There's a knife and some ammo on him, which I will happily take. 
I need all the gear I can get for this mission. The Overseer has tasked me with finding a replacement wander chip, which apparently cannot be created. And it's the only thing we can do is to find a new or a functioning wander chip for Vault 13 to keep them well with ability to survive. My first task, of course, is to clear out this rat infested cave for all the experience I could possibly get. I'm gonna equip my weapons. And maybe a stim pack just in case. And I'm gonna clear it out. the last rat slain I make my way to the outside I am extremely hurt down to 8 HP after all that so I'm gonna heal or try to heal with my first aid skill I can try to heal three times hopefully I can heal a little bit at least Let's go out to the outside world. We're gonna make our way to Vault 15. Hopefully we do not have any random encounters that we can't deal with along the way. Rat Scorpion. Not sure if I can deal with him. I've been poisoned. I do have stim packs. I'm going to try to kill him. Managed to kill the Rat Scorpion. Nice. The Rat Scorpion tail. I'm going to try to heal a bit more. I guess we don't need to. They're almost at shady sounds. Let's move over to shady sounds, a town we see off in the distance, an unknown town for now. Welcome to shady sands, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you're here. Will do. Don't mind stem packs? Let's talk to this guy first. Good day. I am called Sal. How can I help you? I'd like some information, please. Information? What do you want to know about? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. I want to know about your rat scorpion problems. Those damn rat scorpions have been after our Brahmin since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone gets poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. Raslo, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? Sure. What else can you tell me about this place? Maybe about the raiders in the area? There are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There is one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. Okay, it's good to know that there's raiders to the southeast. I think that's all, thanks. You should speak with Aradash, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. He should be in the town hall, the building to the south. How about you, ma'am? Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. 
My job is to greet strangers and help them understand their village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Okay, by all means, tell me more about yourself. Life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism. And many people left taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault. But then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can't get a do get to a doctor, you need to heal yourself. Stim packs are a common healing item. Use them on yourself to heal minor wounds. First aid is a slower method, but it is always available. For major wounds like a broken bone, you may need to use doctor skill. Where can I get some better equipment? You will have to do like we do, scavenge it or trade for it. And if you are attacked, your foes might provide equipment if you live long enough to loot them. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for items we cannot produce. Tell me all bartering. Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items, I give you some trade. Since you initiated the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I would like. So you will probably want to give me more valuable goods that you don't need in exchange for less expensive things that you don't want. If you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub. So you can trade them anywhere. Okay, so we figured out that there's a place called the hub. And there are merchants there. Tell me about this place. You are standing in shady sands. We are but a small village in a large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides the mutated animals and other creatures of the desert, only the rangers give us raiders give us trouble. Aradesh is our leader. He is in the large central house. Speak to him. So Aradesh is in the large central house of this area. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when I was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharama was watching over me. I was also found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He is recovering in the guard house over there. She points to the east. He is more widely traveled than I. Where was this vault of yours? It was vault 15. It is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Oh, so maybe the person outside Vault 13 was a member from another vault that was looking for refuge or to contact the other vaults since theirs fell. Thanks for all that. See, what else can I ask here? I'm looking for wineship. I don't know. I, I have this conflict of... Obviously, we want to keep Oval alive. So, I need to be really... How, how do I say this? In, inconspicuous? About looking for this wire chip. I need to try to ask the least people possible to try to protect my vault's location and the fact that there's people still alive in there and that they have things that someone outside could possibly want. Please help me. I'd be happy to help you. I myself was once like you. Hopefully my knowledge will be useful. 
Well, although I am dressed as a vault dweller, so I bet these people probably know exactly where I came from, especially since I have 13 on my back. But maybe they don't know where it is. Tell me about yourself. Okay. I think we've spoken everything we need to with Katrina. Let us go straight down and talk to Aradash in this larger central building. Is this man this corner over here? Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be the reasons for mine to keep. And keep them you may. But this is not a city of open hospitality. If you desire that, go to Junk Town. You may enter, but know we have our eyes on you. Thank you. Let's talk to him Greetings. again about the Rat Scorpion what problems. What may I help you with this fine day? Tell me about Shady Sands. Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. What kind of things do you have around here? The gardens here? are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north, although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Anything else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Thank you. Can I ask you a few more Certainly. questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about other towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Thanks. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Well, Seth seems to know of a cave. I don't know if you talked to him. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. I can help you for a price. As Dharma said, those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. I know it's hard for you to trust, but I would like to help. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Will do. Where is Roslo? Can you tell me? Mm, yes, yes. Roslo is our doctor. Oh, it's a doctor. If it ails you, he can heal it. I would wager he is just a little north of here at this moment. Okay, so this is something that confuses me. Like, what is north? North, north for me is up this way. But the dots over here. So some of the directions are a little weird. I don't know what cardinal directions they have in this game. Because look, north, north would be here. I'll talk to Roslo until the morning. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna loot Shady Sands. We'll go talk to Ian next. There's a few things I can take from here, which people don't seem to mind. A survival guidebook. I also learned something very curious. The Wasteland Survival Guide from Fallout 3 is named after the guide used for the original Fallout. But the user manual that was included with the physical copy of the game. It's quite an interesting little read. If you want to play Fallout 1, it's probably a must so you can understand how the game works. Let's go up here with Ian. Hello, friend. You see a short, stocky man. Hello, stranger. You like, look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Ted Bundy. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. 
I'd like to know more about this place. Can you help me? Shady Sands is a small but self-sufficient community. The only trouble here is with the bandits and the rat scorpions. Why are the rat scorpions trouble? Rat scorpions are very dangerous. They have poisonous stinger in the tail, and they are very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to Aradesh about them. Thanks, I was actually already planning to do that. Can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? The hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, the Crimson Caravan, the Fargo Traders. Junktown is just a little south and the ways west. Okay, so Junktown is not direct south, it's south and a little west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. What do you know about Seth? Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Rat Scorpion Caves to kill a few Rat Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There are just too many for him to fight. What about the Raiders around town? There are three groups, the Khans, the Vipers, and the Jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Oh, what can you tell me about the cons, the vipers, the jackals? They're a sorry group of raiders who attack Shady Sands. I think that they're gonna take over the world or some such crop crap. Okay, so he doesn't seem to know anything about the vipers or the jackals. But he knows uh, a little bit of the cons, okay? Help me out a bit. Your experience would be useful. Hmm, tempting offer. Since this place gets boring, tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps. And you've got a deal. Uh, no thanks. I guess I have too low of a speech for him to want to join me for free. I'll have to make some money then. Probably know we shoot for the farms and the Brahmin pens. Seems to be some stuff I can loot over here. Another survival guide and the rope. Hello, friend. Got any Brahmin burgers? No, but that sounds delicious. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We all work and share together. How do you survive out here? We have farms and irrigation and we herd Brahmin. Everybody contributes their skills to making something useful. Who's your leader? Eridesh is our current leader. With his experience, he helps to lead the community. Thanks for the info. Nice little Brahmin pin. About to loot this shelf, which has ammo on it. Rifle ammo. And BB gun ammo. Or BBs, I guess. Oh. Hey, you're not Tandy. Anyway, let's... Go to the shelf. We'll grab the knife and the stim pack. The stones aren't really worth it. Just heavy. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name is Ted Bundy. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Okay. Can I ask you a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. 
So, what you need? What else is around these parts? Junk towns to the southwest, but I don't know how far. And there's some weird place below that called the City of Death. Oh, oh yeah, there's this other place. Oh shoot, what was that? Oh yeah, the hub. City of Death? I don't know, but the guy who told me about it was really scared of it. He said that the undead walk the streets. Okay, so there's the City of Death, which is Necropolis, I believe. We don't know about that just yet. No problem. Anything else? Ever heard any stories from down south? The weirdest story I've heard is about the Death Claw. Death Claw? I heard a tale from a traveler up from the south. He said the Death Claw was a creature that killed people at night. He said no one can catch it because it can disappear like smoke. <laughs> Not that I believe it, of course. I don't want to mess with a Death Claw Hello then. Hello again. What can I help you with now? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What's going on around here? Same as always. Boring. Oh, thanks for the time. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, <sighs> see ya. We'll take a little rest here in the main building. We'll rest until morning. This is daytime, I think. Let's head on over to Doc Raslo, see what he has to say. Can I help you? Oh, am I still poisoned? What do you know about the rat scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, the poison has grown more potent, not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. You seem well educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some, and just because we live in stone huts does not mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. Go on, Doc. I didn't mean it that way. I have a sample of the rat scorpion poison. Can you do something with it? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Here, take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against rat scorpion stings, of course, but it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and any poison here. Nice. So, just because we found that rat scorpion and managed to kill it, we managed to get his quest done quicker. Let us level up. I think I obviously need to pump points into speech since Ted Bundy is supposed to be one manipulative SOB. I should also put some into melee, I guess. Can I get it to 100 and I'll put the last four into melee? Let's go talk to Ian. See if with my increase in speech, he's willing to join me for free. Now I'm just going to have to sell some of this gear I have to hire him. I don't think I can clear out the rat scorpions by myself. I got your money, Ian. I had to go sell a knife down to Aradosh, but I'm back. Here we go. Let's go. It'll be good to get into action. Back into action. Okay, gained experience, and Ian is now in my party. Hey, Ian. I have something for you. 